In the last tutorial, I demonstrated how model-based eels using Elner's phase mapping greatly improves eels quantification and mapping by accurately accounting for near edge fine structure. The new software feature also allows for concurrent standards or multiple standards of the same element to be used. Cobaltite is a mixed oxide which contains Cobalt 2 plus and Cobalt 3 plus. In this tutorial, I'm going to use this material as a model system to show you how to use the new concurrent standards feature to perform quantification of the Cobalt 2 and Cobalt 3 separately. First of all, I need high quality reference data for my standards. Here I'm looking at a dual eels spectrum image data set that was acquired from Cobalt Monoxide, which is my 2 plus standard. ZLP correction has already been performed on the data. It's important to use dual alleles so that energy scale correction and ratio deconvolution can be performed to generate a reference that is a single scattering distribution with an accurate energy scale. First of all, I use the spectrum picker tool to sum a group of pixels from a thin area and select the extracted high loss spectrum. Next, I need to add a signal to the elemental quantification list. I'm going to choose the cobalt L edge. Click on the small triangle to the bottom right hand side of the map button to show the standards options. I want to add a new cobalt standard, so I left click on the measure button. Now choose an appropriate background window. Next, I'm given the option to remove plural scattering, which I want to do, so I click yes here. Now I need to set up the parameters of the standards. First, I give the standard a meaningful name and add some notes. Then I choose the energy range for the LNES fit. If I click on the OK button, this standard gets saved to my standards library. This method should be repeated for any and all of the standards we want to use. I also have a dual Leal spectrum image dataset for lithium cobalt oxide which is my 3 plus standard. I've already added this reference, so let's just move on to the Cobaltite dataset. Data capture from the question specimen, in this case the Cobaltite, should be carried out in a similar manner to the standards. Julio's data is preferable as it allows us to perform energy scale correction and plural scattering correction. We should also match the energy resolution and spectrometer dispersion of the standards to get the best results. First of all, enter a technique from the technique manager, which includes elemental quantification. Now select the core loss eel spectrum you want to quantify and add some elemental signals. I'll add oxygen and cobalt. Next, click on the small sigma button in the elemental quantification palette to open the edge setup window. I'll start off with oxygen and change the cross section model from Hartree Slater in the edge setup window to standard. I only have one oxygen standard, so I know this is the correct standard. The background and cross section fit to the oxygen edge look good, so I can move on and check the cobalt parameters. First of all, I'll adjust the start energy of the fit window to make sure the background fit is good. Now I can change the cross-section model from Hartree Slater to standard. Once standard is selected, the standard name is shown and a small button becomes visible that allows us to choose the standard or standards used. I'll click here as I want to change the setup so that I use both the Cobalt 2 Plus and Cobalt 3 Plus standards. In order to select multiple standards, check the box labeled multi-selection advanced. Next, choose an unselected standard in the topmost list and then click the plus button to add the standard to the fitting list at the bottom of the window. Click OK. Look how the edge setup list has changed. I now have a drop down menu next to the standard name. I can also see the edge setup on the core loss spectrum now shows two cobalt standards where there was only one previously. I'm going to limit the fitting to 100 EV window per edge. 
The edge setup is complete, so I can exit the edge setup window now. Finally, I click the quantify button. The quantification results are then displayed in the output window.